Well, it's finally official. The Bronx Bombers are back after landing superstar Juan Soto in a blockbuster trade. And I'll quickly reiterate what the title and thumbnail already state. This is fantastic for the Yankees. And I truly think that this move is going to bring them their 28th championship. First, I want to give a quick shout out to Underdog Fantasy. No doubt you're going to want to be betting on a lot of Juan Soto overs once the 2024 MLB season comes around. And until then, they have contests for basketball, football, hockey, pretty much anything you're looking for. And right now, if you use my promo code GOMES, you'll get a free $100 deposit match. So sign up with Underdog today and thank you again to them for sponsoring the channel. The full trade reads that the Yankees will acquire both Juan Soto and Trent Grisham from the San Diego Padres. In exchange, the Yankees are sending over newly converted starting pitcher Michael King, Drew Thorpe, Randy Vasquez, Johnny Brito, and Kyle Higashioka. And we'll touch briefly on what the Yankees gave up, but I do want to prioritize on Juan Soto. Michael King is without a doubt the centerpiece headed to the Padres, and I like him a lot. As I mentioned, he was a reliever for the majority of the 2023 season, but when he moved to the starting pitcher role, you really saw him come out and shine. A three-game stretch where in 16 and two-third inning pitched, he struck out 30 batters and only walked two. Kyle Higashioka, we know what to expect from him. He's going to play good defense, particularly known for his frame ability and he can hit the occasional home run. Randy Vasquez will be pitching under the rookie moniker in 24 but in 23 he was pretty good. He had an ERA under three but the underlying metrics don't look quite as good. A FIP at five which start to show the cracks particularly the walk rate that's gonna have to be smoothed out if he's gonna be effective due to injuries johnny brito pitched to about 90 innings last year across some starts in the beginning of the season and some bullpen work later on and he pitched well enough he had a 101 era plus measuring him at about league average and then drew thorpe a 23 year old right-handed pitching prospect who ranks in at number six in the Padres organization, who looked very promising last year. He struck out 182 batters in 139 and a third inning pitched, and a whip under one. Now the Yankees do get Trent Grisham as well, and there has been times, specifically in the 2020 season, where Trent Grisham looked like he could blossom into something more than a good glove. However, last two seasons, over a thousand plate appearances in OPS Plus at 84, he'll play good defense, he'll be a good sub-in outfielder, the number four guy for the Yankees. And now let's talk Juan Soto, an absolute star, one of the best players in all of Major League Baseball. Since his rookie year in 2018, his worst OPS Plus has been 142, meaning when Juan Soto gives you his lowest at the plate, he's still 42% better than the average hitter. And of course, a big reason why he's so good at the dish is his plate discipline. He's led Major League Baseball in walks back to back to back seasons, three consecutive years. All the while maintaining a strikeout rate at between 14 and 18%. Pretty damn elite. In this past season, he set a new career high in home runs, hitting 35. No doubt that's only going to increase playing at Yankee Stadium. Of course, due to the ballpark constraints there in the Bronx, left-handed hitters are highly sought after. In the small sample that Juan Soto's taken the trip to New York, he's looked great. He's at four home runs and 28 plate appearances, marking an OPS at over 1,200. But I don't think that Juan Soto needs the short porch to be effective. It's just going to heighten his abilities and make him that much more deadly. So this is exactly what Yankee fans have been asking for. Left-handed hitters 
in that lineup which is predominantly stacked with righties. After the Anthony Rizzo injury last season, they really didn't have too much of a threat from the left-handed side of the dish. So not only does playing at Yankee Stadium make Juan Soto inherently better, it's also going to boost up the right-handed hitters in the Yankees lineup because it gives the managers a much tougher decision. A lefty of the caliber of Juan Soto might make you want to bring in a lefty of your own, which is only going to help out guys like Aaron Judge, John Carlo Stanton, DJ LeMayhew, Glaber Torres, and so many more. Of course, the contract situation for Juan Soto is paramount. The Yankees gave up a pretty good haul. It might not have the star caliber household names that everybody knows, but these are damn good players that they shipped off to San Diego. I can't imagine that the Yankees do not have a plan in place to put Juan Soto in New York long term. We saw it just a couple years prior with Mookie Betts when the Red Sox shipped him. He had one year until he hit free agency, and the Dodgers locked him up probably for the rest of his career. And so an outfield of Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, and Alex Verdugo is going to be pretty devastating for the rest of baseball. I'm guessing Judge is going to play center field for the time being until Jason Dominguez comes back, which isn't an ideal situation to pair him and Juan Soto at the left side of the outfield, but I think their bats are more than willing to make up for it. And people will bring up pitching. Sure, Juan Soto is going to add more runs, but he's not going to prevent them. And that's true. Yeah, they had the Cy Young Award winner in Garrett Cole, who is fantastic, but they lost Michael King, they lost Luis Severino, a couple of question marks being Nestor Cortez and Carlos Rodon. Both missed a considerable amount of time last season and both pitched under expectations. Carlos Rodon considerably under expectations. And just to be honest, I don't think that's going to hold. Rodon is simply too good to pitch the way he did in 2023. Missing many months to start out the season, coming in as the Yankees are really under fire trying to hold on to a playoff spot, and the innate pressure of playing under a big contract in New York, it's not an ideal environment. And of course, the Yankees are very interested in the pitchers on the trade market, as well as guys like Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Some would say Yoshi is probably favorited to go to the New York York Yankees. Which brings up another conversation, that being money. Juan Soto's only here for one more season. He turned down $400 million. He's gonna get paid, and as we know from the Yankees' history, even if they haven't displayed it quite as much in the last couple of years, they're willing to do it, especially if they can make something happen with Stanton and DJ LeMahieu. It's no secret Giancarlo Stanton's got one of the worst contracts in the sport. He's set to be a Yankee for the next four seasons. He can't stay on the field. He can't play defense all that well, and he's not hitting anywhere near the Stanton that people had come to expect. So if they decide to commit to Juan Soto, they'll probably look for a trade. Stanton does have a full no trade clause, which could make things difficult, but ultimately, if you can do it, do it. And then DJ LeMahieu, who's also hit a decline the last couple of years, he's going to be making $15 million over the next three. That's another name I keep an eye on. If the Yankees decide to shed salary to bring in some new faces that are going to help them win. Because after all, that is the ultimate goal. And I do think the Yankees are pretty well set up for it. Of course, they've got the massive contracts in the huge superstars of Garrett Cole, Aaron Judge, and Juan Soto. But they also have cheap talent to help carry the way. Anthony Volpe, who I really liked last season. He played excellent defense, he hit 20 home runs, and he stole 20 bases. I really liked what I saw from him. We briefly mentioned Jason Dominguez. Of course, we only got a taste in eight game sample but very good eight games, four home runs within that time. He got Tommy John surgery in September. He'll no doubt be back in the lineup by about mid-season. And then the Yankees just need to find stability at starting pitching. Of course, you've got Cole, but after that, four good, reliable, dependable arms. And that very likely could be Rodon, Nestor Cortez playing to the ability we know they can. 
or bringing in external talent. Juan Soto is a New York Yankee. That's gonna take some getting used to, and it also might take some getting used to seeing the Yankees back in the World Series, because if they do this right, if they add the finishing pieces to that roster, I think without a doubt, the Yankees will hold up a banner once more.